Hey guys, in this video, we are going to cover how to set up Livebox video within Photo Pro. A very cool feature um, added to Photo Pro is now you can use thumbnails to basically showcase hosted um, videos from YouTube or Vimeo. So let's dig into what this looks like first. Um, so here in the uh, Photo Pro example project file, um, there are three videos set up in this uh, tutorial video. Um, I have uh, removed the video from the last one, the Royals Royce. It is just a regular image. Um, but you can see that by clicking the thumbnails, um, now we can play them, play like a YouTube video right there. So pretty cool stuff. Um, let's get into how to set this up. So here, for the Royals Royce image, um, there are at the bottom, there are options, light box, and there are four options. Instead of the regular show, I'm going to instead uh, click on the video symbol. Now when I do that, it is going to add a video play icon at the bottom left, kind of like pops up as you uh, hover over the thumbnail. Uh, so this way people clearly know if it's a regular image, um, I'll just refresh that, if it's a regular image or if it's a video. So uh, that's kind of a nice touch. And then when you enable a video, a video URL field is going to appear. And then it says YouTube or Vimeo video URL. Now it's important to note that uh, both YouTube and Vimeo um, offer uh, like share links um, that you can use. And I want you to know right now, that's not what we're trying to use in this video URL. We are going to put in this field, the actual um, page URL into this field. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here we have in YouTube, um, we have the Royals Royce video um, here. And this is the page URL uh, to view this video. So I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna put it in this video URL area. Hit enter, and now when we play this, we get uh, the video that we can automatically uh, start playing. Just like that. And then, so see how if we just go to the regular show, it's now just a regular image, but now if we go to the video, we are now going to get the video version of it. And some things that I'll note here, um, it's not possible to have this automatically start playing. Uh, there are restrictions uh, just with um, YouTube and Vimeo. It, you can't just automatically have uh, these videos playing when we click this. And um, that's a long story. We won't get into that. But it will at least give you the option to play it. Um, and you wouldn't want something um, playing just automatically as you're trying to like, you know, go through your thumbnails or anything, that'd be kind of annoying. But anyway, yeah, and even down here in the thumbnails, uh, you'll notice that a play icon is added for videos um, that you can watch. So it's kind of a nice touch too. Um, other things that I would note is sometimes when you, if it's the link is not working within here, um, like maybe it's because you have a seconds um, portion in the URL. And so if you look at this URL and if it ever says like seconds, uh, cause sometimes YouTube, uh, puts the seconds like of like where you're watching. Sometimes it puts it in the URL. You want to make sure you remove that or that it's gone. You want just a clean link to the video page and that is what PhotoPro needs. Um, so on the other side, I'm going to show you how to do this with Vimeo as well. Um, it's simply video, uh, vimeo.com and then it has the video ID in the URL. This is a really clean link. Um, and so all you do is just kind of plug this in to the video URL field, open that up, and then that will start playing just like that. So pretty easy to set up. You just got to remember you want the uh, video page URLs for YouTube or Vimeo. And that is it. Right now, um, as of uh, Photo Pro's release, um, Photo Pro does not support self-hosted videos, uh, unfortunately. It's, uh, it's right now, it's just limited to YouTube and Vimeo only. 
So that's it. That's how to set it up. Thanks for watching.